Excellent. So, all right. Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Fen from Belvin. Today, I'm lucky enough to be here with Max Bauer. Uh, Max Bauer is a student of team coaching in this sort of series. We've spoken to two coaches so far. Uh, today, we're going to hear the perspective of what it's like on the ground, actually as a participant. So, uh, Max, good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. How are you doing? Uh, pleasure to be here as well. Thank you for having me. So. Oh, of course. Absolutely. So, uh, we'll kick straight off. Um, do you want to start with what's your what's your current role? Uh, what do you do at the moment for work? Cool. Yeah, no worries. So uh, I'm employed by the uh, British Army at the moment in time. Uh, so I'm currently a, what's called a troop commander in uh, ATR Perbright. So that's the Army Training Regiment of Perbright. Uh, and we basically deal with phase one training for soldiers. So that's them coming in as civilians. Uh, and we're transforming them around in 14 weeks uh, into basically trained soldiers. So covering all the basics off, making sure they're getting the, the right place, heading in the right direction uh, before stepping off uh, into their phase two environment. Uh, so for me personally, as, as a troop commander, uh, what that involves is some teaching itself. So taking some 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 classes, uh, making sure the guys are you know, coached, mentored in the right direction uh, from a leadership point of view. Uh, so I take great pride in that. It's uh, it's really good fun, given my personal experience of it. And uh, you always get lots of questions about how to do things, you know, challenging scenarios and which way to go forwards with them. So it always yeah. kind of creates that good conversation. Uh, but also making sure I have that overall assurance as well. So I'll have a team underneath myself of uh, six individuals, uh, just making sure they're doing their jobs as well. Uh, again, staying in line with uh, the coaching and mentoring point of view, uh, as the army is just so big on that as well at the moment, uh, making sure we're, we're teaching and developing our soldiers in the right in the right way yeah absolutely so fundamental to everything you know in a defense environment right is teamwork leadership so uh and you're right there on the on the cold face so to speak with the, uh, yeah. the recruits 14 short weeks wow it's amazing yeah. when you hear it out loud but um in what uh, in what capacity were you first introduced to team coaching uh, and how did you find it yeah, so uh, I actually started uh, university, uh, basically to a place called Bishop Grace Test University in Lincoln. Uh, and then uh, I had three team coaches there at the start. So uh, uh, Helena Vittori, uh, uh, Chris Jackson uh, and, and Peter Tsai. And uh, both, uh, all three of them are absolutely fantastic coaches. And uh, basically the whole course was wrapped around that, that learning model of how do you work together as a team? Uh, how can you shape your team in the, you know, the best direction? And how can you learn from failing uh which i think was the really the big point was uh learning from failing especially for us being junior entrepreneurs not really knowing and understanding the dynamics of business at the time how can you set up a business and, and potentially you know disintegrate it and then restart again making sure you're, you're covering all the aspects uh and the thing that underlined all of that was uh you know how do you how do you work together as a team and Melbourne was was brought into us um, uh, just to show us, you know, do the test, see see what you were uh, as an individual. Uh, I think myself, I was a shaper, um, <laughs> so understanding the pros of being a shaper, but also uh, more importantly, the cons of being a shaper and how you yeah. can turn those cons into something that is workable and something that you can work with uh, with the other team dynamic as well. And uh, uh, for us, it was a huge huge learning curve understanding that and seeing, uh, you know. The weaknesses that we had and for me i remember empathy being my my one of my biggest weaknesses at the time not understanding other people and their point of view and where they were coming from and why they had that point of view as well so um learning that was 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 incredibly important to me and uh i think you know going forward now empathy is probably one of my strongest traits because you know yeah. learn how to do that, uh, and move, moving forward and it's something that you encounter numerous times on a daily basis you know people have all their own personal problems and how do you uh overcome that and work together to get through it and uh everywhere you go has that has that team environment doesn't it oh, so yeah. it's it's incredibly important um but yeah it was, a, it was a very good uh three years that we had at, at university you mm -hmm. get given a lot of time to yourselves to, to do self-reflection um and then the this i think definitely the most important part was learning that coaching model that was around you as well and how yeah. do you your own learning how do you direct your your own path and create something that you know you're going to learn from yourself and then use it in the future uh, uh which is you know i'd like to say which is why I, where i am now so uh, it's fantastic yeah exceptional i think um that level of introspection you're talking about with understanding yourself is that really important key step to then actually facilitating better teamwork uh you know it's that it's the team is that creation of individuals um you then need yeah. to sort of understand yourself how you interact and then like you talk about with the empathy is understand how they may see the world differently as well 
Yeah. Um, with with the model itself, in your own words, how would you actually describe the model, perhaps in comparison to some more traditional styles of coaching, or indeed how the military teaches? Did you, did you find any sort of similarities, differences? Um, I think there's a lot of similarities, to be honest. So. Um when anyone becomes an instructor now within the army uh, they get put through a defense training course now and yes. the whole principle of that course is about coaching and mentoring um mm -hmm. the the army is really understood now that it's no longer this directional approach of you know we say this you do this you know it's now understanding that people and, and the environment that we live in today is is understanding the dynamic of a person and how they work best and how we we can incorporate that so um we get put through our paces on that course uh, definitely we, we do all our workbooks around it answering questions of different you know different scenarios different case studies uh, and you, you're understanding these different problems that you could be could be faced with so um i think the similarities uh so yeah just absolutely huge there and uh, definitely mirror mirror it very well um and i look back on my journey through through the coaching and mentoring process and being in that position now where you know i'm in a dialogue i mean i'm in the in that square or circle or whatever we set up uh, and you know sitting back and observing the coach and how they're directing the learning to to achieve what you need to achieve you, you always look back on that now especially at myself where in exactly the same situation where you're with your team now in in, in this in this environment and mm. to be able to talk to them but you can put that spin on it to make sure they're generating their own understanding of why they need to do what they need to do um, yeah. and how they're going to get there to do it. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's, it's, it's fantastic to see it in motion, uh, you know, visibly in front of you. So uh, it's, it's invaluable learning at the end of the day, which is uh, fantastic to see. Yeah. So it sounds like it's done uh, some good things for your personal sort of instructing and coaching style. Do you feel you've been able to sort of successfully implement those on the day to day with your team? Do you think your team starts feeling, you know, that level of, um, Sort of improvement or that new way of doing things from you yeah definitely so uh just for you know examples for us especially in a, in a training environment um even when we're with the recruits and ourselves and we're delivering a lecture let's say uh yeah. we, we will put the a case study on the board and it's like asking them out right right rather than us you know giving you a one-way briefing here how about you um you know come up read the case study we'll go through your thoughts and processes now and then as a team we'll basically start working through it together uh, and then that's yeah. when individuals then can, you know, can start speaking up being like oh maybe this would be a good way of looking at it or you know oh this is my idea even though it might be you know a bit bit you know out of the ordinary um let's let's see that spin on it as well and then as a team you then come together and you create that that scenario of how to deal with it in the uh, you know the right way uh, and people learn from each other's experiences that way and uh, mm. that, that's the the best way of doing it is having those experiences and moving forward with it. Uh, and without that, you, you don't really learn as much. You know, it's more in, in one ear out the other otherwise, because uh, it's yeah. you know quite directed learning. But um, when they're hearing their their peers talking about it as well, it's like, oh yeah, hang on a minute. You know, you know he's he's the same as me right now, and uh, this is how he's thinking about it. I could I could take something away from that. So yeah, it work, works fantastic. Yeah, I, the death by PowerPoint just isn't effective as, as a way for most people, is it? The experiential, the learning from your peers and uh, sort of having the space to learn from your peers, I think, is sort of, as I'm understanding, uh, a lot of the crux of, of team coaching as, as a program is it's like facilitating that learning. And it sounds like it's been implemented to good effect with you and your team. Yeah. Uh, which for, I think for some people listening might actually sound quite uh, in it might be like a bit of a juxtaposition for what people traditionally think of the military. They think of it as a structured, regimented sort of approach. But what you're describing seems to be a, a far sort of far cry from that. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Which is good. Sounds effective. So would you, would you, for anyone who's looking to go into team coaching uh, as a participant, is there anything that you'd want to leave them with or is there any sort of final thoughts that you would want to give somebody going into yeah. this program? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing is especially understanding that um, don't be afraid to, to fail in that environment. Um, mm. It creates the boundaries for you to explore and understand who you are as a person. And I think once, only once you've found you know, who you are, uh, you will start to realise, OK, this is actually the, you know, the direction either I want to head in. Uh, or either, you know, um, you know, how I want to you know, do my work as well. And um, I think the biggest thing you can then take away from that, from from failing, is understanding how you can get your point across, uh, in particular, uh, mm. and 
I think where I'm trying to go with this, how you're trying to get your point across and how you can kind of stand by it and, and get it there and but then work with it. And I think you need to understand that no, I think what fa phase that we say a lot of time in the military as well, definitely something I've learned is no plan survives its first contact. And um, <laughs> yeah. you, you, you basically have that initial plan, you're going with it. And then as a team, you then come together and you add to the plan. You can either take away from the plan because uh, mm -hmm. it's too complicated and you can then work with it there as, as a team. Uh, and then once you've got you know everyone on side of it, it it's fantastic. Uh, and the other thing I'd probably add to that as well is understanding not to have a group of individuals, but to make sure it is a team. Uh, have a role uh, there and have you, know, you do your role well, uh, but make sure you're sparing on those people around you as well to, to continue contributing to that role and to the team mm -hmm. environment. Um, you can often be left at a loose end where you feel like you've done your job for the team already. Uh, and where is my input now leading me to? Uh, and it is important to then, obviously, as a team, come together and realise that and see, right, this is the next step we need to take. Um, you jump in on this with me now and then give me your experience here as well and then we can create something even better. And yeah. uh, it's just, that's the best way to look at it. Yeah, 100%. Now, I can only imagine in sort of high-pressure, stressful, time-compressed environments, which sounds like you often work in, uh, that sort of um, that sort of strength really needs to be tapped into and brought to the fore more so yeah. than in uh, more so than others in some cases. <laughs> all the time, yeah, uh, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, look, thank you so yeah. much for your. Oh, sorry, I think your connection is a bit there, but um, thank you so much for your time, Max. It's uh, it's a really good insight to hear it from the from the participant side of things, and uh, it sounds like you've been using it to some really good effect uh, in your current role. So. Thank you again for your time and uh, best of luck with you and your uh, troop moving forward. Hope things stay as good as they sound now. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so I'm sure it will do. Uh, they're passing off at the end of this week, so uh, they've earned it and uh, they'll get some nice time off for a little bit as well. So, oh, uh, fantastic. Uh, as well. it's, been, uh, it's been great to speak to you. Yeah, good on them. All right, cheers, Max. Cheers, thank you.